I've heard you talk about how IP protection and quality control start from day one. It, it's not necessarily when things are off the press on, on the conveyor belt. What, what do you mean by that? So it's kind of the same concept for both, but I'll separate them. The first is for IP. A, a perfect example is Beats by Dre, right? When I first got to China, you saw knockoffs everywhere. It's because what they did was they took their design files and got them quoted with a bunch of different factories. You're giving them your design files to go copy if they want, right? They're not just going to copy, but if they see your success, you basically given them permission to make it. You've given them all the design files. IP protection, much more valuable than patents, is the way that you get your product quoted. Don't give everyone your design files. That's crazy. Break your design files down into components and find specialized component factories to make each of those pieces for you so that nobody sees the bigger picture. Nobody actually knows what it is that they're actually making. And then nobody can copy you. If they want to copy you, they have to buy your product and reverse engineer it. They're going to do it. They can still do it, but it will take them six months rather than one month after you've given them the design files. As for QC, when you give your product to somebody and you say, if what your game plan is, is you give them the money and you say make it and then you get to the end the products are coming off the press and you're going this is wrong this is wrong this is way too late nobody's gonna take responsibility you might get a discount right but the way to qc properly is we call it a qcsd quality control standard document right when you're going to pursue a supplier for a partnership in, in manufacturing your product make sure they know what they're making more often than not, not knowing what they're making is the root of all of the problems. And if you can do a proper QCSD that everyone in the supply chain signs, right? When we do them, we sign it. Every member of our supply chain signs it, customer signs it so that we all know what we're making. And then when there are problems on each of these components, we can go back and revert back to the QCSD and say, no. Nah, we signed, this is what you're supposed to be making, it's wrong. But you have responsibility clearly laid out in the QCSD, as well as catching it early. Nobody wants to build an entire product, get to the end right before they're about to get paid, and then go, oh, this little mistake we can't accept. If you catch it early on, you don't want to be in this problem anyways. But if you do get in a problem where there's issues with the product at the component level, it's much easier to solve component issues than it is to solve fully finished product issues.